Today was one of the most important moments in the history of Ripple. Many analysts didn't believe it, but it happened. What exactly do you think happened and how will it affect Ripple? Write answers in the comments. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. Please watch this video to the end like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. Also in this video, we will show the lucky winner of the giveaway, free 500 XRP, and maybe it will be you. So watch the video carefully until the end. Online fraudsters are impersonating major cryptocurrency firms like Ripple and Binance by creating fake websites and email imposters pretending to provide staking services for XRP. One such website includes a blog post titled XRP Staking Set to Debut January 2023 for Retail Users, inviting users to stake their XRP with unrealistic returns on investment. Roy, ranging from 12 to 27. The fake scheme attempts to rush XRP investors' decision by stating that only the first 10,000 accounts will receive a higher ROI. The fake website provides a well-crafted clone of Ripple's website, Ripple.com, by copying the original layout and fonts and linking some of its previous blog posts. The impersonators also attempted to add more credibility to their posts by adding information about the importance of self-custody using major hardware wallets, such as Ledger or Treaser. The scam website has a lot of mirror domains with org, th or, oh, uh, v endings, targeting XRP users from all over the world. The XRP staking website scam is accompanied by imposter emails impersonating Binance offering up to 31 ROI on XRP staking. An industry enthusiast Ripple Panda XRP took to Twitter on Jane. 21. The ArxRP community about the scam. Do not send your XRP to an unknown address and always check the address to see if it is a legit site, Ripple Panda XRP wrote. That said, the real Binance exchange actually offers decentralized finance, DEFL, staking for XRP as part of its Binance Earn program. However, Binance's ArcRP DeFi staking program only allows users to earn up to 1.44 year. It's important to note that XRP cannot be staked because it doesn't run with a proof of stake POS, system like major post cryptocurrencies such as Ether. Instead, XRP transactions rely on a network of unique nodes that agree on which transactions can be processed in the network. Investors are advised to conduct thorough research to ensure the legitimacy of a platform before making any investments. The long-running legal brawl between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission edges close to an end. In a tweet today, top U.S. defense lawyer James K. Filan informed his over 138 followers that as of January 19, 2023, everything is briefed in the lawsuit. This suggests that the parties, Ripple and the SEC, have made the necessary filings, including motions for summary judgment and motions to seal all materials relating to the summary judgment motion. Filan's tweet comes as part of efforts to update the XRP community on the scheduling updates of the lawsuit. An excerpt from the attached image read, Now we wait. Judge Annalisa Torres is currently reviewing the multiple briefs filed by the parties before making a final decision. Reacting to the tweet, excerpt community members took to the comment section to express gratitude to Philan for keeping them updated throughout the lawsuit, which has lasted for over two years. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at Hogan Hogan Law Firm, was among those who expressed gratitude to Philan for his efforts in keeping the crypto community updated. XSharp community attorney John Deaton also reacted to the latest scheduling update shared by Philan. Deaton referred to Philan's latest Ripple v. Seek lawsuit. Seek lawsuit tweet as the best update ever. In December 2020, the sex dropped a bomb on the crypto industry by suing Ripple and two of its executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. The Securities and Exchange Commission claimed that Ripple and its XX sold unregistered securities in the form of XRU. The case, which Forbes dubbed the cryptocurrency trial of the century, is expected to set a precedent for the future of the U.S. crypto market. A win for Ripple could pave the way for regulatory clarity in the United States. 
However, a ruling in favor of the SEC could give the regulator a powerful weapon to go after other cryptocurrency projects. In previous updates, Filan has predicted that Judge Torres would likely make a final decision on the case before the end of March 2023. Meanwhile, Ripple's CEO recently told CanBC that he expects a final resolution of the company's legal brawl with the SEC to happen in the first half of this year. Garlinghouse added that he is confident about the outcome based on Ripple's position with the law. The case is now fully briefed in front of the judge. But we are optimistic that this will certainly be resolved in 2023, maybe the first half. We'll see how it plays out from here. But I feel very good about where we are relative to the law and the facts, he remarked. As reported by the crypto, Basic in Davos Ripple CEO said that people will be stunned at the sex's behavior when Heinemann's emails come to light. According to Crypto Law, founder John Deaton, the Jan. The Jan 30L Bree hearing is one of the most important events in crypto. Last year, the cryptocurrency startup Elbree lost in summary judgment, and victory was granted to the sex from the judge's ruling. The January 30 Elbree hearing is one of the most important events in crypto. BWW. When the transcript of the November 21, 2022 Elbree hearing is made public, the on-the-record statements made by Jeremy Kaufman to the judge need to be sent to every senator and congressman. According to Deaton, the SEC conceded on the record that many, if not most, LBC token holders did not view LBC as an investment and that they utilized the token for consumptive use. However, when pressed by Elbrick, Keo Jeremy Kaufman and the ruling judge to provide clarity on LBC's secondary transactions, the SEC refused. The SEC is seeking a permanent injunction that does not distinguish between Elbri, its executives, and users of the platform or secondary market transactions. Deaton continued that when the transcript of the novel, 21, 2022 Elbri hearing is made public, the plea of Elbri CEO Jeremy Kaufman to the judge needs to be sent to every senator and congressman. The founder of Crypto Law gives a summary of the Elbri CEO's statements on Nob 21, 2020. Two. Kaufman pleaded with the court, stating, I just want to know what the rules are. Tens of thousands of other companies just want to know the rules. It's okay if we lose. What I would like to come out of this with is at least some knowledge of what the rules are. He expressed to the judge that still to this day, no one knows the rules. Also at the hearing, Kaufman went on to plead for clarity for users of the platform and clarity regarding secondary market transactions. The aforementioned issues will be addressed on Jan. 30, making it the most significant crypto event according to John Deaton, who disclosed that he had filed an amicus brief and also requested an appearance in the case. In earlier tweets, Deaton stated that the market would continue to receive guidance only through judicial results from the sex's regulation by enforcement policy. In other words, guidance will come from federal district court decisions like those on Elbree, Ripple, and the like. This is why the industry must come together to fight all of these court battles because clarity through legislation is not coming. Deaton stated, Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.